Hey, this is Marcus Sertias, and today we're going to be talking about camera batteries and battery chargers and how to stay organized. So let's start. I know this isn't like the flashiest, sexiest topic compared to talking about like a hot new camera or new lens that came out, but this is something that has been on my mind lately. I've started to do more photography workshops, and I've even created like a little like pre-shoot checklist of things to do, and the number one thing on the list is charging batteries. But the way I've been charging batteries now has been kind of like haphazard and scattered. Like I have a bunch of different chargers and I'm all plugged into different parts of my room. And so my, my nightmare is that I'll pack up my batteries but forget one, forget a charger and forget a battery. Then when I get to the shoot, I go into my I go in like I go to take a picture or use my flash or something else and I realize that I forgot a battery at home. So I've decided to buy a few small pieces of gear that are not maybe not necessarily like the most amazing things, but I think that will help me be more organized and have my my battery charging be more convenient. But before I do that though, let's go into the different batteries and chargers that I'm using right now. So I'm gonna go into my battery, my uh, not my battery, my camera backpack that's just off screen here. All right, so my. My primary camera right now is the Canon EOS R and this takes, I'm using LPE6 batteries. It also can use I think a newer LPE6N battery but it's still backwards compatible with the old LPE6 battery. And so the nice thing about these, um, these batteries is that they last a long time. So that's one reason why I've stuck with uh, camera bodies that still use the LPE6 battery for longer battery life. That's why I haven't gotten like the Canon EOS RP or M50 or the new Canon R8 because they all use the smaller LPE17 battery and I didn't want to deal with that. And also just as a side note, I'm using, I have one um, of, like name brand native Canon battery that came with uh, the Canon EOS R, but all my other batteries are third party batteries. So third party batteries, there's, kind of a debate over whether should you stick with um, native batteries or use third-party batteries. So definitely, if you can afford them, like, yeah, definitely use the native batteries. With the third-party batteries, so this is a little bit of nuance for me. That's just my impression. The older batteries, like the LPE6, I trust the third-party batteries for those a little more. I've heard horror stories, though, about the newer, like, um, third-party batteries that copy the newer like mirrorless batteries. I've heard horror stories about like them getting like inflated and bloated and getting stuck in the battery compartment. So if you're if you're only if you're buying third-party batteries based on a new battery, I would be more careful of those. But third-party batteries based on older batteries like the LPE6, I think they're a little bit more trustworthy and also you can save a lot of money too. So anyway, that's my side side note about batteries. And so to charge the LPE6 battery, let me, actually I'll open like the first of the new packages, put this away. So I bought this Castar LED dual charger for camera and camcorder battery. So I actually already have one of these. So I'll just open it for you now. I'm gonna have to open this. All right. Oh wait, no, I think there's just a sticker holding it closed. this tape off. Actually, I will use the scissors actually, after all. Cut this off. There we go. So this is the charger. There you go. Charger and it comes with a USB cable. So I wanted to get this because um, I have like the wall, the wall charger that goes into the wall, 
but that only can charge one battery at a time. So the nice thing about this is it charges two batteries at a time. And actually I already have one just like this. So now with, both, with two of these, I can charge up to four batteries at a time from a USB port. And so that'll be, that'll be much more convenient than just having like one, one battery charger that can only charge one battery at a time. So with two of these, I can charge four batteries at the same time. Right now I only have three batteries, but I may add a fourth battery later on. So put this away. So that's so that's the camera, but there's also the flash. So my flash is a Godox V eight sixty two C. So the C stands for Canon. And the, one of the big reasons I bought this flash is because of it has a lith a lithium ion battery. So this lasts for a long time, and also it allows you like a much faster recycle time between flash pops. And so this is going to be, so this is the charger that comes uh, with the flash. So I kind of debated whether or not to get, there's also a USB version of this flash, uh, I mean of this uh, battery charger. The thing is though, it only charges one battery at a time. So I don't see it as being a big advantage over the, the regular wall charger. So for now, I'm gonna continue to use this. Now the other thing I also have to keep charged is uh, my flash trigger. So this is a Godox X-Pro C Mark 1. Uh, so this is a flash trigger that I put on my camera so that I can f fire and manage my off-camera flash or flashes, multiple flashes if I want. So this uses AA batteries. So these are Panasonic and a loop batteries. And they go in a charger that looks like this, that charges four batteries at a time. So that's pretty convenient. All right, so now let's go into the next product I bought. So is a, so this is a JJC battery pouch. Whoops, battery pouch. Open this. All right. So this is the battery pouch. There you go. So you can see it has uh, zippers. So this is where you could put put things like your memory cards in here or other small items. And then as Velcro, there we go. Stretch these out. So you have, I don't know if you can see it on camera. So there's four battery pouches so the configuration I'm thinking of doing for now is I'll put my three Canon LPE6 batteries in three of the pockets, and then I'll put, let me get it real fast. Actually, no, I don't need to. Actually, well, let me do it, let me do it. So what I plan to do is I'll put three of my Canon LPE6 batteries 
in three of the pockets. And then in the fourth pocket, I'll put my double A batteries. Let me see if it shows up. So you can see that the Canon battery is here and the AA batteries are here. So you can imagine like having three camera batteries and then my AA batteries on here. Now the other cool thing about this battery pouch, let's see if you can see it. So it also comes with these, let's see if I can pull it up to camera, yeah. You can see these loops. So you can keep them closed and you can also put these on your on your belt. So that can be really convenient to have these like kind of on your body instead of like in a bag. So like instead of digging through your bag, you can just like open the flap, grab the battery you need and put it into your camera or put it into your flash trigger, whatever you want. And also this can make for a really nice um, like setup for like wedding photography, event photography, or just on location, on the go photography where maybe you don't want to have like a backpack or even you don't even want a shoulder bag. You just want to have your batteries and memory cards on your on your belt. So this can be really convenient for that. Put this battery back. Put this back into the flash trigger. So now let's get to the third and, and last item that I bought to help with keeping my battery charging more organized. So let's see, is there a model name for this? So this is an Anchor Series 3, like USB charging station or power strip, USB power strip it says. Let's open this. Okay, so this is what it looks like. So you have two AC power ports there, two AC power ports here. So you have like here, here, and here. So you have a total of six, uh, six uh, electric outlets. There's also an on off switch, which can be helpful too. And then this would plug into like a wall outlet. And also it has two USB ports. So I was trying to decide actually between this one and another anchor power strip. That one had more USB ports and fewer wall outlets. But with the way my charging setup is, only my, my camera battery chargers use USB ports. And I have two of those Castar chargers. So those will, that will, that's what I'll plug into these two ports. But for the charger for my, let's see. So the charger for my, my flashes and also the charger for my AA batteries for my flash trigger, I'll plug those into, the, into these wall outlets. So right now I actually have three, three flashes. I have two of the Godox V862s and I have one Godox V, 350C. So that's a smaller flash. So three of those flashes will take up some of these wall outlets and then this one will take a, a fourth outlet. So that gives me still like two more wall outlets in case I add more flashes to my setup if I go crazy like that. But so these are what I'm going to be using to just help kind of stay organized and more consolidated with my batteries and my charging. Because so at least like I can charge everything from from this USB power strip and then later when I'm carrying my my batteries I can carry all my batteries in this pouch so I know not necessarily the most exciting topic but I just feel like these things I feel like the the power strip 
and this pouch will just help me stay way more organized and just keep all my batteries and chargers in one, in, in one place so that way when I'm packing I can just take unplug all my chargers from this power strip and put all my batteries away and not worry about like missing a charger or missing a battery and forgetting it at home you know when it's too late when I'm already like on location and shooting all right so that's all for this video today so again I'm Marcus and I hope this video helped you with your being organized with your camera batteries and chargers see you in the next video